Hello and welcome to another tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to download and install Visual Studio and set it up so you can follow along with the Windows Form and the WPF tutorial from the website. So first thing, let's go and load up a web browser. And so just simply in, you can simply type it into Google to just to say Visual Studio. Okay, that's fine. All right, so if you want to click on the first link that comes up for Visual Studio. Now there's several different versions of Visual Studio that's available. Okay, so you have got uh, the normal Visual Studio IDE, that's what we need. Uh, you also have Visual Studio Code, that's very popular with a lot of programmers that want to use like a lightweight IDE. And then you also have the Visual Studio for Mac. Okay, so if I go here and hover over the button, uh, the one that we need is the Community Edition uh, 2019 version. So the Community Edition is a free version of Visual Studio that you can use and it's also free for students and for open source projects that you want to make. All right, so if I click on that one, okay, and uh, that should download a starter file uh, that's going to basically get all the other um, files downloaded automatically. So the VS community is only about 1.3 megabytes. So I click save, okay. So it's downloaded into the system. So if I open the downloads, I've downloaded one before, but I'm just going to use the new one here. So if I double click on that. Uh, click on yes to install the app. Okay, so the Visual Studio installer is showing me a message here just to say that, you know, I need to set up my um, installation. So if I click on continue, so basically it's just going to download what uh, the files that are needed um, for this installation. And once it's downloaded the files, uh, you should be able to see the workloads that we need in order to um, work with the C-Sharp Windows Form and WPF program. So the one that we need is the .NET development environment. So inside of this one, you have got your build WPF, Windows Form, and console application using C-Sharp, Visual Basic, F-Sharp, and so on. So just click on that one. And then once you clicked on that, there's a bunch of options that come up here. So we're just going to leave everything as default and basically just say install. Okay. So what it's going to do is it's going to download all of the necessary files uh, for installing the .NET framework onto the system. So once it's done so, it's going to start Visual Studio. So uh, I'm going to let this one finish and then restart again for when it's uh, done. Install Visual Studio. We can load it up from the menu. So I can look at Visual Studio here. Okay, when I search for it, I should be able to find Visual Studio 2019 on there. Okay, click on that. Okay, so you can sign in with um, any account that you have, or you can create one for the Visual Studio. I already have one, so I'm just going to sign into it. So we're just going to go ahead and create a new project. All right, as you can see, now you have got access to all of these different project types. So the one that we're after is if you go to Languages, go to C Sharp, and then you can pick um, the Windows Home application here. Okay, so I'm just going to make one here that says the first application in Windows Home. Okay, so as you can see here right now, is it's going to save it inside a um, repos folder right so that's inside the users then your username and then source and then repos right so because we don't want to do that um, we don't want to save a file into that right so what we're going to do is we're just going to change this so click on this button here to browse okay so what I'm going to do is instead of going into the source and repos just go to your documents right so there should be a folder for visual studio 2019 on there already because they usually have these um, default stuff done but if you don't have one you can easily make one and then inside of the visual studio 2019 we'll just click on new folder make a new folder here called projects so 
just to keep things tidy keep all your projects saved inside of here so that way we can find it every time uh, we create a new project and so on all right so click on select folder so that's going to be saved but in this case it's going to only save this project into that folder we'll have to go to the system settings to change the visual studios uh, default location all right and we'll do that in a minute so now click create okay so this is the first application that we made in visual studio 2019 okay just to work through the layout of this one so this is your uh, the preview part of the form so you'll see how the application looks in this case here this is the solutions explorer it sort of shows you what kind of stuff is inside the project and what kind of um, scripts do we have and so on and so forth right so you can double click on some of them to find out so if you want to go back to the form design you can easily double click on that and go to the form design and you can also right click to view the code right so this is where we actually write all the uh, logic for the application and so on okay so you can see that it uh, sort of creates a little tab system there uh, you got your toolbox right here if the toolbox doesn't show on this side so right now it's initializing the toolbox okay so under all windows form you'll find all the necessary tools that we need so in this case i'm just going to drag and drop a label here okay and then uh, this is the properties so when i click and select a item right i'm able to change the properties of this one so if i click on the form you'll see the properties window changes slightly then when i click on the label because each of them have different type of properties that we can change so right now i'm just going to click on the label have it selected and then click on the a to z alphabetical button here all right, so what this will do is this will help um, keep all the stuff alphabetically so I can go find the text quite easily here yeah? and then just say hello welcome to Visual Studio okay so as you can see the text is quite small in this case so we can make the text larger find the font option then double click sorry click on that um, browse button here Okay, and then I can change it to bold and change that font size to say 20. Okay. All right. And um, every time, uh, don't do a file save as and save the script somewhere different because what it's going to do is going to save that one script somewhere else. So you won't be able to load up the entire project from there. So in order to make sure that your project is always updated, make sure you use that save all button, okay? So always use the save all button. So um, a lot of times we don't save it and then we do a lot of the work. And obviously if it crashes or something happens, then it becomes a whole lot harder to recover that project, right? So one of the things to know is that now that we have created this, we need to run this application and see what it looks like when you run it. So you can click on the start button here that will debug the program or build the application and run it as an independent application okay so as you can see this is now a independent application from that so i'm just going to close this for now uh, what we talked about earlier was um, to change the project save lo default save location so to do that go click on tools go to options right, so inside the options just close the environment part there's a project and solutions part here so if I click on that go to locations so see right here the default location for the projects is the source and repos so if I click on browse button there go back to my documents go to Visual Studio 2019 and then click on projects and click select folder so what's going to happen is every time I create a new project it's going to automatically save it into that location so that I don't have to worry about doing that every time okay click OK Okay, just to demonstrate, um, if I go and click on File, New Project on the top here, right, and then obviously if I pick uh, Windows Form from the list again, so uh, any recent ones will come here, but obviously you can always find it here as well, so you've got the Windows Form.net framework, so click Next, and as you can see, it will save it, it changed the default location of the project to somewhere else, so always name the projects with um, the actual name of the project that you think it is so this way it would be easier to find so if you're making like a flappy bird game or a zombie shooter game or save the X game or something like that so just make sure you save it so otherwise it's going, what's going to happen is it's going to create uh, Windows Form app 1, app 2, app 3, app 4 so it becomes a lot harder to identify the 
an actual application that you finished okay so uh, one of the other thing is if you have installed visual studio without um, going through the visual studio installer right, if your visual studio is already installed uh, then what you might be able to do is to install the dotnet framework you might just need to go to star menu and search for the visual studio installer okay so the installer is what sort of handles all the installed files to visual studio so if you click on that okay we just need to load it up okay once visual studio installer is loaded up we will show you which one is installed on your system so we can just click on modify here right and if you click on modify at this point if you don't have this one selected the dotnet framework development uh, workload selected just select that and then click on install okay so that's the yeah that would uh, pretty much set up your uh, visual studio so you can follow along with the other tutorials uh, from the website and from the youtube channel